Hey, sneaky things back tonight, and tonight we'll have a look at K9 Linux. Now it's an offshoot of Puppy Linux 4 and 2, and we're going to have a quick look around. It's a short one tonight because it is a release candidate, so it looks really nice to start with, but there are a few problems. So we'll get down to business. I've got a nice little eye bar at the top there, it works well. Nice, 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 nice and smooth. Lovely. So to start with, looks really nice. We've got our four work services down there, and we've got the usual menu. Comes with XFCE or KDE, whatever you want to call it. It's got the usual menu, but it's quite stripped back. It's only an 83 megabyte download, so bear that in mind. So I ain't gonna have too much on here. Although it does look a lot as we're going up the menu, but when you look further into it, there's not so much. So what else should we look at? I don't know. What should we look at? We'll go in the middle there. Here we go. Right. Anyway. We're going to open up the internet, I think. Now, for our internet browser, we're using Opera. Oh, yes, Opera. Opera is all the rage at the moment. It does have its problems, as we all know. It's not totally perfect, but it's fine. But I could have done with Firefox on there, really, for personal use. Now, I'm going to go to Zoho.com, which is an online office, basically. For the simple reason, there are no office apps installed whatsoever. Now, I like every word and Gina installed on these small distros, because it means you can do work offline if you really want to. If you've got no net connection, you can't really do any work, can you? Bit of a bummer. But Zoho's a good alternative, or you can, you can use Google Docs if you really want to. So, I'll go to the BBC page. Loads up nice and quick. Colours are there. You know, it's OK. No big deal, but there's nothing special there yet for me. It's not biting me bells, so to say. Now, what Opera is it? I think the last one is Opera 10. Let's have a look. Yes, it looks like Opera 10 to me. Not too bad. Um, it plays your flesh fine, so that's OK. Another nice good bit. So, as a basic distro, it's OK. So, we'll go into the menu. And we'll go to setup. Now, this is one of the big problems that I had is setting up my keyboard. Now normally when you install a puppy you get the option to start with. Well I didn't get that option this time. So I'm going to UK here to try and do my keyboard. Click OK. Warning, 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 warning. Not good. So bear in mind to release candidate. I'm sure you can work that one out. So we'll click OK. I won't bother doing it anymore because it don't work. I've tried the other sections as well. It's a bit of a bummer. Never mind. So we say. But on the iPad up the top here, we'll go along, My Files, Terminal, Internet, there's your My Files, KDE Styly, shall we say. Right, we'll go to Media Player, the next bummer. It don't want to play ball whatsoever. I didn't think there was actually a Media Player installed, really. So I gave up on that after five minutes, as it didn't want to play. And I went down to the menu, and we come up, Multimedia. Yeah, we've got FF Media down there, that should work, but obviously the link is missing somewhere on the line. Also, I couldn't do a full install on this one, I've had to just do a puppy save file on the unit, so it's a bit of a bummer. If it comes better next time, it'll be really good. If not, keep working, mate. Keep working. Sneaky Linux out.